workout number 11 of the Vicious Vixen Summer Video Series. Have you got 10 minutes? I have a beauty for you today. Uh, all we need is two kettlebells. You can buy those off my website if you don't have any. Uh, it's called the 3030 Kettlebell Bod Booster. So we're basically just going to use the kettlebells for three exercises. We have a workload for 30 seconds and then we have a rest recovery period for 30 seconds. Then we move on to the next exercise for 30 seconds, then a rest recovery for 30 seconds, and then the third exercise, the final exercise for 30 seconds with a recovery. And we're just gonna keep repeating that uh, for about three rounds, which should take you 10, 10 minutes. Um, if you work faster uh, and you wanna add in more sets, you can do that as well, but I'm just giving you an average of about a 10 minute workout. So, <clears throat> what you wanna do is have your stopwatch ready, um, of course you want to warm up a little bit beforehand so just grab a rope and do some skips for at least a few minutes or go for a quick jog on the spot and then what we're going to do is start the stopwatch. Now I'm just going to demonstrate the three exercises first and then I can uh, show you how it's done uh, put together as a workout. So the third <coughs> workout is a kettlebell squat press. So these definitely look meaner than they are. This is only eight kilos. So we're going to flip it upside down and hold it by the belly of the kettlebell a wider than hip width, slightly turned out, and then we're going to come all the way down into a squat where our elbows come just in between our knees, keeping the chest up, back straight, belly strong by drawing it in towards the spine, and coming right down as if you're about to sit on a chair, okay? So you're going to do squats here for 30 seconds. Once the 30 second um, time is up, you've got a 30 second recovery to get ready for the next exercise, and that's a bent over row. So uh, I'm going to give you two options. The more advanced option is holding the kettlebells here and basically nice wide feet. We're in a push-up position, but we're just going to row. So row up for 30 seconds. That's called a renegade row. Now if that's too difficult for you, how about putting one foot forward, balancing on your front leg and just rowing it up for 30 seconds here. So if you're going to do it this way, Instead of having that 30 second recovery, you're gonna to have to go straight into the next one. Yep, okay. So 30 seconds with the other arm. So that's the second exercise. The last exercise is probably one of my favorites. It's a push up to a deadlift. So, hands are on the kettlebell, we jump back. We do a push up. Then we jump forward, grabbing onto the kettlebell still and stand up. Bend your uh, knees back straight, jump back to a push up, we jump forward. Okay, so that's a push up deadly. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the workout with you now that I've shown you the three exercises. The first one is 30 seconds of squats, holding the belly of the kettlebell, squatting up and down for 30 seconds. Recovery time to get to the next exercise, which is the renegade row. You can do it in a push up position, alternating arms, or just a single arm row. And then the last one is the push up to the deadlift. So remember, you've got 30 seconds exercise, 30 seconds recovery. 30 seconds of the second exercise, 30 seconds recovery, and again uh, for the last exercise. So that's pretty much the workout, repeating that for about three rounds. That should take you to 10 minutes. If you wanted to increase the length of the workout, do five rounds for about 15 minutes. So I uh, hope you enjoy it, and um, I'll see you real soon. Bye.